This is Lost Fluid. Turn up the sound. The audience is now listening. I, the game isn't all that quiet at the beginning, so I don't know why it tells you specifically to turn up the sound. But considering that I always, you know, record with my sound on minimum, we're not going to do that. You, however, because of the way I record, should be able to hear it. I hope. Let's go. Lost Fluid. An indie game. Indie is spelled wrong. An inda game. An ind game. Oh, it's so indie they don't even have to spell indie right. You are... Oh. I saw a little highlight there in the ship. Yeah, it's just little flashes of light. And fortunately, all of the lights kind of flash together, it seems. You'll notice the mouse turns into a hand on this whole side of the screen, and that's because if you click here, it brings up this menu. That's not very good design in my eyes. Oh, apparently this is who the actual guy who made the game is. Um, there should be, you know, first of all, you could put the menu button up here with the buttons of some sort, rather than having this giant invisible button down the one whole side of the screen. Especially when you click it and it covers the entire screen up. So I don't like that. Anyway, you can control yourself using the arrow keys, and we are this happy little Metroid jellyfish looking water thingy. I haven't played around in this game. I don't know if there's like hidden secrets. I believe that there are not. The author of the game was originally putting together a puzzle game where you have to travel through the various pipes. Womp. But, and by the way, you travel by the pipes. If you get anywhere close to the entrance to a pipe, you get sucked in automatic, automatically. So don't worry about that. I wanted to put together a puzzle game, but as he started making it, it turned into something completely different. Um, I have solved this. I just don't remember how I did it. Uh, oof, that's, oh well, I needed to jump down here anyway, there's nowhere else to go. This leads down here. And I see a pattern of lights, and I also see a bridge that I can't use. So let's go back up, and head in this direction. Womp. What's kind of cool, and I actually like this, is that there's these semi, you know, I'm guessing power lines, and they go right from where that sign was over this way, so it kind of leads you where you want to go. Kind of a clue if you're making a puzzle game. Yeah, see, they connect right here. But at the same time, um, because this isn't a puzzle game, it just, it leads you over here. When I say it isn't a puzzle game, it's not to say that there aren't puzzles in it. It's just that the emphasis was uh, not on the puzzle solving anymore. So there we go. We've solved that puzzle. Go up through this tube and it puts us all the way up here. And you can see that there's a little chamber of some sort here. I don't know what it is. Let's find out together. I actually do know what it is, but you know. Here's a cute, clever little bit. It takes you up and around right here, and then it disappears, but you assume that it goes to this pipe. And that assumption is correct. And here it looks like, whoomp, and you get sucked in. And we're up in space. Or we can come over here and go down into the depths. And this is the part, this screen is when I fell in love with this game. And the whole... It didn't matter what else happened. I'm going underground. I'm adventuring through a series of pipes into the dark recesses of the inner world as a cute little water majig. And, uh... You know how big I am on dungeons and exploring things. So this is just my cup of tea. Oh my gosh, look at that guy. For the record, um, I managed to not die the first time I played this game. So... Hooray for me! Haha, you can't get me. You're kind of cool looking, though. I do enjoy you as a monster. Let's walk over here. Walk, roll, slither, slime, I don't care. Whoomp. I do wonder, what is the purpose of that platform? Because I don't think you can actually get up onto that platform. On Whoa, let's try jumping this time. There we go. Yeah, see, the jump doesn't go high enough, and this jump doesn't go far enough. So it exists, but it doesn't exist? Can you fall from up above and end up in here? I'll grab whatever that is. And there's a reason why he stands right there, and it's because... Dunk! You get to crush him to death. And based on the sparking, I'm guessing that he is a robot. Well, now we have a little... we have a little yellow thing, whatever that does. Doesn't seem to give me, like, a double jump. 
So that's not important. Well, I'm sure it's important, but I'm it doesn't well it doesn't make the game any easier by giving me a double jump. Double jump is such a crutch in today's society. I didn't get no double jump when I was growing up. You jumped once. Wee and I die. When you die, you come right back from uh, whatever screen you died on. However you got there, I guess. It just pops you back into existence. Now let's go back up into space. So here we are in space. Want to go to space? Space! Nope. Get back up into space. This is the tube that I really didn't like because I was jump. I thought that it, it was so short. Let's go back over here. It was so short that I figured if I went underneath it, it would suck me in, but it didn't. It actually, only when you jump over it and get too close. So over here, you can see two more of those yellow things. So let's put the last one there, and then I'm going to shut up. A long time ago, a people from a distant world created a machine on a lonely planet. It had one purpose. To create life. There was only one missing element. I bet the missing element was, I don't know, unobtainium. No, it's probably something even better than that. Something like lead. It was missing lead, or lithium, or manganese. So this, oh, we didn't get to see this, because I didn't come over here first. Um, this is actually a barrier that was up much higher so that you couldn't jump over it. And I believe when you put the uh, yellow thing on the pedestal in the other room, this barrier then lowers. Because it was up, and then I went over to the other room, put the yellow thing down, and when I came back, it was down. So I guess that's how that works. And here is the machine. And so they built... The machine. And once again, jump into the machine. No, let's jump over here. I want out of here. I know what the missing element is. It's made of people. No, it's not made of people. It's actually water. I thought they were going to do something here because it looks like a heart. It totally looks like a heart. See, and then it even gets more heart-like. And then suddenly I explode. And I'm like, aww. I must have done something wrong if I lost the game, and then I turn green, because now I'm radioactive. And apparently, I am really good water. Because look at that. Boom! Plants grew so fast, they increased the air pressure and blew out the top of the dome. And then they suddenly forested the moons of Endor. Watch out. Womp womp womp. Terraforming on a grand scale. I don't quite grasp how that works, but... You know, whatever. Plant it in a box, yo. Just add water. And there you go. Whee. Um, I can tell you I stayed on this screen for a couple of minutes the first time I beat the game, and I never got anywhere. It'll have the credits go by in that, but it just keeps going on into endless space. Are we moving forward or backwards? We've got to be moving back further out, because the, you can track the motion of the star as it goes, and it's going away from you. But who knows? If you're interested, there is... Um, this is called Lost Fluid. It's on the Newgrounds front page right now. And there is a link... Well, not a link, but it's something you have to copy. Right here, to a YouTube video, which will let you watch a speech done by Alan Walt, uh, Watts. And uh, it's long, it's like 40-some minutes. When I first loaded the video, I thought it said four minutes. And so I'm listening, and it just keeps going, and it won't stop. And then I went back, I'm like, oh, 40 minutes. That changes the length of it. So I did not listen to the whole thing at that time, as I had to leave earlier. But this has been Lost Fluid. It was a fun, cute little game. I really, I think the best parts were fighting the monster, and exploring the dungeons underneath the planet. And I also, because I love Metroid so much, looking like a little Metroid thing and then popping up into that first space dome, it blew my mind. It was awesome. So this is Lost Fluid. Um, I was hoping it would be a puzzle game since it actually said, like, a puzzle game. Uh, let's see. Uh, it just comes off the side of the screen here, but it says, Solve Puzzles and Fight Scary Monsters. Started building a puzzle game, but then it evolved into a weird, deep sci-fi puzzle-solving space-out game space out game until next time bye bye